A lot of local kids in foster care are in need of some help. Now, CASA of West Texas is asking for volunteers. ABC Big 2's Caitlin Landers joins us now live in studio. Caitlin, there's a real need for volunteers here. Absolutely. Carson Madeline, CASA of West Texas says it desperately needs volunteers. I talked with the organization today to find out why. If CPS has determined that a child is not safe at their home, they are removed. CASA of West Texas helps children who are going through this situation. The judge will appoint one of our volunteers to really um, kind of be that squeaky wheel for them during this time. Uh, they speak up for them in court. They make sure that they're maintaining as normal of a life as they can while they're going through this traumatic process. Hope Stalder with CASA says that the organization could always use more volunteers, but tells me that during the pandemic, there has been a 64% increase of children being removed from their homes. When we did start to receive those cases uh, and realize it was going to be a pretty severe influx, we just simply didn't have the volunteer numbers to sustain that type of influx. Volunteers took on more cases to help, but CASA still had to turn away some cases and they do have to navigate through the court system on their own, which really just makes them more susceptible to falling through the cracks of an overburdened child welfare system. Which is why organization leaders are asking people in the community to help. 15 to 20 volunteers would go a long way. Now there is a volunteer training coming up on September 28th. We'll have the details about that on yourbasin.com. In studio, Caitlin Landers, ABC Big 2 News. A very important service there. Thanks, Caitlin. And you can read more about those resources CASA of West Texas offers on yourbasin.com.